Your computer mouse and keyboard stopped working after repairing your computer charger. Someone commented under one of my video, Bro, in my laptop, my mouse and keyboard were working but after my laptop charger repair, my mouse and keyboard is not working. For this problem, in this video, I suggest five causes with five fixes. The first one is uh, improper charger repair causes power surge, which damages the USB and power controller. To fix it, disconnect the charger and force shut down the computer. To force shut down, press the power button and hold it until the computer turns off. Wait a few seconds, like 30 seconds, and then turn the computer back on using the power button. If it does not fix the problem, try a different USB port. Cause number two, voltage fluctuations during repair can corrupt drivers. To fix it, uninstall and reinstall HID drivers, drivers for human interface devices in device manager click on windows button just uh, type device manager and click the enter button this is how device manager looks like and here you have human interface devices you can use tab alt and arrow keys to navigate between tabs and options by tabs i mean this tabs file action view help so you can use arrow keys to navigate like this when you're on human interface devices use the right arrow key to expand the options when you're on usb input devices click on alt and you will see that the tabs are now active use the letter with underline i click on a and it activated the action tab and then use again arrow keys to navigate when you're on update driver click enter you get a pop-up here you see how do you want to search for drivers you have set automatically for drivers and you can browse my computer for drivers just use search automatically for drivers click on it and it says the base driver for your device are already installed this is in my case in your case it might find new drivers and install it use again tab to navigate you will come to the close like this and then click enter alt key a for action navigate to scan for hardware changes and click on it hopefully this fixes the problem in case if it doesn't fix the problem this time we are going to uninstall the driver a for action now click on uninstall device you're about to uninstall this device from your system now I am connected to the internet. If I uninstall it, my computer will reinstall it automatically in a few seconds, very fast. Again, you can navigate using tab and then click on enter and uninstall. The system automatically refreshed this device manager, the content of this device manager twice. The first time it uninstalled the driver, the second time it reinstalled the driver. In your case, if it doesn't, you can uh, come to the human interface devices, click on Alt, Action, Scan for hardware changes. If it is still does not add the USB input device automatically, then you have to restart your computer. 
restart in your computer reloads the default drivers cause number three charger repair might have reset bios which disables usb ports in some cases to fix this go to the bios how to go to the bios it is very easy restart your computer when the computer starts booting up keep clicking on escape button for computers that came after 2015 you can use the escape button to get to the bios for computers older than 2015 it is either f2 or f10 or f12 you can go through all function buttons or f buttons at the same time when you are in bios navigate around and you will find the usb settings cause number four bad charger repair damages the motherboard's usb controller or keyboard ribbon cable to fix it check for burned components near the charging port you can also try external usb keyboard if the usb controller or the keyboard ribbon is burned or destroyed then it is best to take your computer to the repair shop cause number five internal cables for the devices may have been disconnected during the repair for this if you can open the laptop and reconnect the cables finally test it on battery without charger if everything works on battery it means that the charger provides bad voltage or not enough voltage or too much voltage if you have still the problem take out the battery and this time try it without the battery only on charger that's it guys i hope it was helpful thanks for watching i really hope that one of these solutions works for you and fixes your problem i have published many courses tutorials tips tricks and hackers that can help you with your career with your studies and with your everyday life explore my channel watch also my other videos have fun and enjoy learning new things with my videos take care and have beautiful times